Hello, quick video on hypothesis testing of ranked data and therefore rank correlation. Okay, um, on occasions we have competitions which are determined by judges and they rank who's coming first, second and third, which competitor, yeah? And it'd be useful to be able to check whether there was correlation between the judges ranking given it looks subjective and we've got no numerate values. So we can do that um, by hypo using a Spearman rank correlation coefficient that would give us um, the actual correlation that we want and we can hypothesis test off the back of it. And our friend Mr Spearman created a table of critical values for, for use. Okay, so let's just have a very quick look at this example. If we had, um, we've got eight competitors here, A to H. And judge one says that A is first and E is second and H is third, etc. all the way through. And judge two thinks that G is first and B is second and C is third and all the way through. So that's all it is. These numbers have nothing other than rank order. They don't have any other value meaning. They're just a rank. And what we can do is calculate this rank correlation coefficient which is usually known is sometimes in short as um, SRCC or it's R with this little s here um, to do to find the correlation coefficient and what we're doing here is we're finding the sum of the differences or oh, that should be squared sorry and dividing it by this n over n squared minus one to standardize it okay so let's have a quick look at an example in all these sorts of um, competitions, cookery, painting, books, or even garden design, the judges rank everybody first, second, and third. Each judge is making a subjective assessment, so it's a risk that they're not consistent. Um, we do need to look at whether um, we have the same rankings for all the competitors. So here's the data. We therefore are interested in the difference between what each judge is coming up with, yeah? So we're, in the, we're very interested in the difference on, on their rankings. And that's what we use for the Spearman test here. So here's our formula, our Spearman rank correlation coefficient. And we're going to look at, we're going to work out what these differences are squared. So it's a bit like finding sum of squares here, isn't it? And then we're going to use this formula and it will always between, using that formula, we'll keep it between one and minus one. OK, and D is the difference in the ranking between different student, uh, different judges. In practice, we're going to see that we can the um, that formula up there comes up with the same correlation coefficient as um, as Pearson's does. Um, but this one's just for integer values, whereas Pearson's is more widely applicable. OK, so let's have a look at this. Let's say that this set of data we were just looking at is for judges judging a village vegetable competition. So here's all their rankings, judge one's rankings, and here's judge two's ranking. So judge one ranked A as first, judge two ranked um, A as seventh. So the difference between those two, taking the first, take away the second, is minus six. And if we then square it to get our sum squares, we get 36. We do exactly the same thing. The first on B, the judge rated it as being eighth, and the second judge said second, so the difference is six, and again, squared, that's 36. And we carry on through until we get all these values. These are all the differences. Then we're going to sum them all up. So we add up the bottom line, and we've got that that is 142, some of the differences, yeah? If they were perfectly consistent, that sum would be zero, wouldn't it? Um, but if they're inconsistent, we're getting quite a big value there. OK, I'm going to stump that into our formula that we saw above. So that's 1 minus 6 times the sum of the differences divided by n is the number 8. There were 8 competitors, weren't there? n over n squared times n squared minus 1 in the brackets. There we are. If we calculate that all out, we get, in this case, an SRRC a ranked correlation coefficient of minus a 0 0.690. 
So that would suggest that our results are negatively correlated, wouldn't it? That the judges actually have a different view on who's the best. Um, they almost got opposite views there, haven't they? Yeah, and we wouldn't really be expecting that, would we? We need the judges to be consistent. Um, please note, we can also calculate exactly what we've just done by putting the results into our calculator. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so as before, what we do is we put in uh, the two lists. So list one is just the results from judge one, and he, in order, one uh, ABC was our 1846. Um, all the way down, and list two is Judge Two's um, views on correlation. Sorry, on the ranking, um, seven two three four. Okay, if we graph those, we could graph that very quickly and see yeah, it's pretty scattered all over the shop. But it looks like there might be a slightly negative correlation, wouldn't it? Which would fit in with what we were just looking at. There's zero point nine six. So I want a linear correlation. So I choose X. And looking at our y equals ax plus b here, um, here again we've got on the third row down, we've got r equals 0 point, so minus 0 0.69. That's what we were interested in, isn't it? And that's suggesting that we've got a negative correlation going on, which is not what we want to see with a bunch of judges, is it? Okay, now we're going to do the hypothesis test with that data. And it's going to be very similar to what we saw before for Pearson. So our null hypothesis is that there is no correlation between the variables. Um, therefore, row is a parameter in row equals zero, and we're going to work from there. H1 depends on the context. Um, and we might be interested in correlation being there's that being correlation, or we might be interested only in positive or negative correlation. So that's our choices. Our test statistic is going to be from uh, as our RS, our correlation coefficient for Spearman. And we can get our critical values from the table like we did for um, Peter Pearson. And again, we need to know the number of points of data, whether it's a one tail or a two tail, and what our significance level is. And then we're going to create our test line. So again, it's going to be, could be high ho or ho high or high ho high. But it's going to range again. Our correlation, this uh, Spearman correlation coefficient, somewhere between minus one and plus one. So applying it to our example here, we've got H0, no correlation, so rho equals zero. Now H1, in context here, we would expect the judges to come up with a similar order. So we'd expect a positive correlation. So we're looking at one tail test. Our test statistic we've already worked at 0 0.69, and we're going to apply a significance level of, of 5 degrees. And now we go and look it up in our Spearman table. So we had... Um, n points here, we had n competitors, didn't we? We're on a one tail test and we're applying 5% and therefore coming down the um, column and across the row, our critical value is this one here, 0 0.6429. Okay, let's take that and put it into our number line, um, our outcomes line. So our correlation coefficient can range from minus 1 to plus 1. We've just found our critical value here on a one tail test is 0 0.6429. There's our critical value. So our critical region is from that upwards. And we earlier found out that our test statistic was 0 point minus 0 0.690. So our test statistic is not in the critical region, uh, miles away from it, and therefore we are concluding that there is no correlation between the two judges um, decision making uh, which is rather worrying isn't it so if we wrote out the whole thing our test statistic of um, minus 0 0.690 is less than our critical value so it's not significant evidence so our h naught's accepted and we're going with there is not enough evidence to suggest that there is correlation between the rankings of the two judges. So a bit of a waste of time this competition, isn't it, if you can't trust the judges? OK, here we go. Here's our quick summary then. Spearman rank correlation co uh, correlation coefficient, SRRC, SRCC, usually R with a little S here, and that's the formula for calculating it. You can get it straight out of your calculator as well by just feeding the numbers in to your calculator. 
Once again, for null hypothesis is that there's no correlation and the, um, therefore rho equals zero. And for H1, um, are, it's context-based, isn't it? Rho is either not equal to, greater than, or less than. And we're comparing our R value as our test statistic with the critical values from the Spearman table. And our outcome line could either be high ho high for a two-tail test or high ho or ho high, depending on the context. So I hope that's of use to you.